Hey guys, welcome back to the Ali Code problem solving playlist. Let's continue solving SQL 50 questions. Today we'll be solving average time of process per machine and employee bonus. So let's dive right into it. Average time of process per machine. We have activity table. And uh, again, I guess it's uh, again another inner join question. Sorry, not inner join, self join. Anyways, we have machine ID, process ID, activity type, timestamp. Table shows the user activities for a factory website. Machine ID is ID for machine. Process is the process ID is the ID of process running on machine. And activity type is enum. Enum means it can only hold these values which are start and end. Timestamp is a float representing the current time in seconds. Start means the machine starts the process at given timestamp. And end means machine ends the process at the given timestamp. Okay. There is a factory website that has several machines each running the same number of processes. Write a solution to find the average time each machine takes to complete a process. The time to complete a process is the end timestamp minus the start. Okay, yeah, this is the formula for average basically. The resulting table should have the machine ID along with the average time as processing time. It should be rounded to three decimal places. Return the result table in any order. The result format is given below. Let's go through example to understand this better. So we have our activity table in which we have machine ID, process ID, activity type and timestamp. So as you can see, if you look at these two records, what they, they want to mention basically is by key is for this zero process ID, start time was 0 0.712 and time was 1.520. What's the average? duration for operation of zero and if we look at the zeros data the average should be somewhere around this is this should come out to be 0.8 something this will come out to be one and one and 0.8 average should be okay they haven't no sorry they weren't okay yeah somewhere close to nine so what we need to do is first off let's make our select select machine id comma now they want us to round off this to three decimal places right so for that you use round method in this the first part argument is what you want to round and second is up to what places and if I read it correctly yeah three places once we have done that also we need to keep this the alias for this column as processing time right. now we need to calculate the difference of end timestamp and start timestamp and take average of it so average of time stamp diff and uh, let's assign a1 for the timestamp ending in with activity type end timestamp comma a dot timestamp a for the activity type start wrong mm, activity a join activity a1 where now we need to verify that where clause let's put where clause uh, first of we need to mention on what on a dot
I guess we are joining with process IDs. E1 dot process ID. All right. Once we have made the join query, let's go with where. Now we need to confirm that for see A is the start type, right? So over here A dot activity type equals to start and a1 dot activity type is end all right Also, we need to match this based on machine ID as well. That is and a dot machine ID equals to a one dot machine ID. Now, for our final touch up, we have performed the aggregation function. So, on basis of what we have performed the aggregate aggregation on basis of machine ID. So we go group by machine oh sorry a dot a dot machine id and that should be our query let's try running this yes the timestamp diff it's not working properly let's check this again Okay, is this why it's causing error? Join activity. Oh my god, this <laughs> I paid no attention whatsoever. Why did I put a bracket over there? Because there's it won't be where over here, it would be another and. And this, and this, okay, yeah. Maybe this will work now. Hmm. Oh. Oh, it's a float value. Oof. Oof. I tried performing timestamp diff on a float value. Okay, th this is not necessary then. I thought it's of data type. Timestamp. This should work. Round average of this, this, yeah. Let's try running this. Machine ID is ambiguous. Oh my god, so many errors got off. Too hasty, huh? Okay, it's working finally. <laughs> uh, let's try submitting this and see if we run across any errors. No, we don't, but it's taking too long. So let's try running it again. It took longer. <laughs> let's try submitting it once more, just once more. Yeah better <laughs> let's move on to the next question employee bonus the table is employee we have employee id name supervisor salary employee id is the column with unique value for this table each row of this table indicates the name and the id of an employee in addition to the salary and id of their manager Okay, bonus. Employee ID is the column of unique values for this table. EMP ID is a foreign key to employee from the employee table. Each row of this table contains the ID of an employee and their respective bonus. 
write a solution to report the name and bonus amount of each employee with a bonus less than 1000. Return the result table in any order is in following. Okay, let's now basically we, they want us to return all the employees which have a bonus below 1000. Let's run through examples. Input. Okay, we, we need to in, include the people in null as well. Hmm. So basically this is a left join with a clause that only print out the less than 500 one. Okay. Alright, let's dive right into it. We need to do select. name from employee table e dot name comma b dot bonus from a left table is employee left join bonus employee e bonus b on the column name is employee id but this employee id on e dot temp id equals to p dot imp id no imp id also okay over here there is no and we need to check we need to check two things over here for null that is p dot bonus is null or or p dot bonus is less than is this strictly less than I guess yeah strictly less than thousand now we put this in a bracket because this is an entire and gloss this, it can be either this or this yeah that should be it for this question so basically we are selecting employee name bonus or put Thomas null Thomas has employee ID 4 but somehow we ended with bonus 2000 huh? What if we do simply just this? What if we remove this case and simply go with less than 1000? How is it making Thomas null? We are performing left join. Now I'm pretty sure where doesn't work in this type of joins. Let's try doing it though. Hmm. Okay, where work or b dot bonus is null. Okay, that works. <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe while teaching you guys, I'm learning myself as well.
anyways uh, what we did over here selected the name from employees table bonus from bonus table then we performed a left join on employee with bonus table so basically this got picked up employee id and bonus let's let me explain over here this got picked up and it got pasted over here now for all those it got pasted thomas had a bonus of 2000 so thomas didn't need to be included so he wasn't included because we put a where clause where bonus should be less than 1000 or bonus should be null and pretty good test case results we have so that's it for today's video i hope you guys are learning something and you are practicing these questions yourself as well again okay, questions are sql 50 next in next video we'll be doing students and examinations managers with at least five direct reports this is a medium time question medium type question but i'll try to make it as simple as you it is it i can for you and yeah thanks for watching if you are enjoying my videos make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel bye